Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I'm gonna to show you how to interpret your free online presence performance report. Um, if you missed the last video, the link's right below to the other video, just explaining what this is. And there's a link um, for you in the description as well to go generate this report for free for your business too. So basically this video though, I'm going to be explaining to you what all this means. So I took this business, it looks like a great local business. It's a hardware store in a suburban or small town area of Colorado. You can see as I scroll through, they've got lots of great sections of products, um, typical hardware store. They even do paint, grills, lawnmowers, things like that. So we want this business to do well, as I want your business to do well too. This report helps us understand where we are doing well and where we're not doing so well so far, um, obviously for the purposes of improving. So I'm going to show you in each section what each part means, and then I'm going to explain to you exactly what you should be doing to improve those sections if you're not seeing it at the level that you want, right? So the first one is gonna be links and website authority. So what this counts is how many people link to your website, how many different domains and the total links, and then what Google thinks of you versus your competitors, right? And you can click on things like this to see screenshots of what the system took. Now you can see you versus your average competitors for all of these different aspects. So to break this down just simply, this just means basically when people link to your website, it tells Google that you are important. That's what it means at the basic level. So the more links you have and the more links from other good websites, the better that your website link report will be, the more authority Google has, thinks you have, and the more it will rank your business up higher in the search results. So if you're seeing poor results here, like they are currently, one of the things you can do is just simply network with other local businesses and ask them to link to your website. The other thing you can do is start a blog or uh, videos on your website that just give good content that people will naturally want to link to um, and share with others. That's gonna help you with this section. It's gonna help your authority and help you grow. Next is the rankings tracker. So it's going to tell you, you get to pick five keywords when you set this up. It's gonna tell you how you rank for those. So you can see across Google, Google Mobile, Maps, and Bing, how you rank. So they do pretty well for hardware store near me. This is ABC, and that means the three pack results. So if I search right here, hardware store near me, I'm gonna get three results. This is A, B, and C. So you can see here, ranking A, that's pretty good, and then one in Google Maps, and then 11 organically. So that's not so great, but you can see that we saw from their pictures, they sell paint and their paint store, yet they don't come up at all, and they're 16 and eight for paint um, when you search for that in their area, right? And this is based on local search results. Um, and then for power tools, they're B, and for hand tools, they're A. So those are pretty good. So now we know that they probably wanna do more to promote their paint section. One of the things they could do is actually have a page on their website dedicated to their paint section. Now, Google only knows this one, these two words and this picture, right, when it comes to paint, and it doesn't know much because these are just pictures here. So adding an actual page on their website that's about their paint store and the paint supplies that they offer would be super helpful. Next is the local business listings. So you can see here that they get a good score, which is great. So they have 14 listings. Now, basically what matters for these is your name, address, phone number being consistent across all these different directories and them linking to your website. Um, and when that happens, it sends signals to Google that you are who you say you are and your business is legit. And Google will understand that and say, okay, well, all these people, all these business directories point to this business. They all use the same name, the same address, and same phone number. So I know that that business is uh, legitimate. Now, here's where the problem comes in. When you have different directories that have the wrong address for you, not only might people call the wrong phone number or go to the wrong address, um, which is a problem. It could frustrate customers if they use uh, MapQuest or Insider Pages to try and find your business, but also, Google gets confused and they say, well, I'm not really sure if this business is who they say they are. Now, this isn't bad to just have a couple wrong, but some have it wrong across the board. And then the other thing is they're missing their business from these other important directories. So Yelp, Yellowbook, local.com, and you know Facebook, Foursquare, having backlinks and having your business listed in those directories will help you show up more in search results because Google takes those as positive signals. So what they can do here is, and I'll put this link in there uh, as well, but use something called the Bright Local Citation Builder. It's really cheap and easy. And basically it's like 
one or two dollars a listing, maybe three dollars a listing, but you plug in your business and what your name, address, and phone number should be, and they'll actually um, go and fix it all for you. Uh, so it's a really handy tool. Now, the next part is the reviews. They get a good one here. Now, as we all know, having lots of five star reviews helps your business stand out. They have a 4.8 star, obviously, a great business. If you are seeing that you aren't getting a great rate rating there, getting more reviews and more positive reviews is gonna help. That is the number one factor, uh, pretty much, for uh, customers choosing a local business and for uh, helping improve your Google rankings. So if you want to have high Google rankings and have more customers choose to shop with you or hire you for your services, getting lots of five-star reviews is a critical way to do it. Next is the Google Business Profile Audit, and that just means how filled out is their Google Business Profile and how does it do across other criteria, right? So benchmarks across 10 other businesses in their area. Great news, hardware store, they're doing really well as far as a hardware store in their area. You can see that they're ranked number one over the ones who are who are also being considered. So that's great, you know, and the thing that you can always do to improve it, add more photos, get more reviews, add more content to your Google business profile. And I have lots of videos on that. If you start to find that you're struggling, you're not ranking as well um, for your main keyword, which is the one you should enter first. Now, if I go to onsite SEO, this is where their status is just okay. Um, and you can see it's a pretty basic website for the business. Um, I'd probably suggest that they use something like Mighty Sites to try and make their business a little prettier um, online. Uh, I'll put the link to that below too if you don't have a website currently. But basically you can see here, speed is good. Um, and then a lot of this gets pretty technical. I'm not gonna dive into it here, but basically what I would suggest is if you see errors in this, print this part off and talk with whoever built your website. So talk with whoever's managing your website or built your website. They will know what each of these different parts mean and what they can do technically to work on or improve those things. Um, and that's both from an SEO and a web development standpoint. So check that out. Um, you can see one that's obvious here, you know, their, their mobile rendering is not very good. So you can see here how their website looks on mobile. That's pretty bad. Um, and on a tablet, you can see copies being cut off. That creates a really bad customer experience because the customer is having a hard time using your website on a phone or a tablet, which a huge percentage of people use those and as opposed to a laptop. So that's definitely something that wants to be addressed uh, and fixed um, as well. And then you can see simple things like Google Analytics is not being tracked. Um, so it's tough to find anything. Now they have no social uh, presence. So you'll get a grade here for your social presence. If you have Facebook, Instagram, things like that, see how many likes and visits um, and profile you know, uh, information here. You can see they don't have social profiles. That's a huge missed opportunity to just create interaction and relationships with customers and build a you know a coherent brand, especially for a local hardware store. Um, so you'll get a little sense of how you're doing versus others and what your social section is saying about your business in this section too. Last part's the appendix. Not gonna dive into that now. It gives a whole bunch of extra details about your pages. Again, that's a part to share with your web developer. So that's a little breakdown. This report's really valuable. Share it with whoever's running your online marketing right now or, or share it with your web developer, but it's gonna give you a really clear overview. And then as a business, you know, okay, if I improve my links, my rank checker, my on-site SEO, and my social channels, I wanna go for greens across the board and that's gonna help my business have more visibility, have a better representation online, and ultimately lead to more sales and more people hiring me or more people coming to my restaurant, whatever it is that your local business does. Hit that like button and subscribe for more great tips and details about how you can leverage online digital marketing solutions for free or cheap to help grow your local business.